A jury in 89th District Court that yesterday found Shannon Wells guilty of multiple sex crimes against a 12-year-old girl today decided against a maximum sentence of life on his most serious charge. Instead, the jury opted for a 40-year prison sentence on his charge of continuous sexual abuse of a child. The jury previously was instructed that if they found Wells guilty on that charge, they were not to return separate verdicts on counts 2 through 10 of aggravated sexual assault of a child, as well as three of the sexual indecency charges. These were all considered part of the continuous sexual abuse charge. For the five remaining indecency convictions, he was given three years on each. The judge granted the prosecution's request to stack his sentences, meaning Wells must serve his 40-year sentence, then begin serving the other sentences, one after the other. First Assistant District Attorney Doby Kossib says Wells will be 91 before he can even be considered for parole, giving the public a reason to feel a little bit safer. Absolutely, the punishment was adequate. A jury of Wichita County citizens came together and they heard the truth and they severely punished a child predator that was roaming our county. I'm gratified that all the juries that we have seen of late have been willing to protect the kids of our community. And I want to say a big thank you to our trial team, the Wichita Falls Police Department, and especially Patsy's House for the hard work that they do in protecting our children. In her victim impact statement before Judge Charles Bernard formally sentenced Wells, the victim, who's now a senior in high school, said Wells and Chapman traded her off like some sort of item, and she's tired of remembering it and crying. She also said that he destroyed her self-worth and that she has put herself through hell since then. She said he still haunts her dreams, and regardless of his sentences, he will never hurt like she does. 